Management for Life, The Business of Being You Have you ever considered the potential career implications of an office love affair? Maybe it's the allure of the forbidden, the thrill of the secret, or simply the convenience of proximity. But before you dive headfirst into a whirlwind romance with your desk neighbor, let's discuss some of the potential pitfalls. First up, we have the conflict of interest. When you're romantically involved with a colleague, it's all too easy for personal feelings to seep into professional decisions. You might find yourself giving your partner preferential treatment, whether consciously or not. And trust me when I say, your colleagues have a sixth sense for favoritism. This can lead to accusations of unfairness, and before you know it, your professional reputation is under the microscope. Next, we have the loss of credibility and professionalism. Remember that your office isn't just your workplace, it's also your stage. Your colleagues, your superiors, they're all watching. And when love enters the scene, it can cast a shadow over your professional persona. Emotions can cloud your judgment and people might start to question your objectivity. It's important to maintain a level of professionalism and impartiality in the workplace. And then, there's the office gossip and rumors. Ah, the water cooler talk, the whispers in the break room, the hushed conversations in the hallway. Romantic relationships in the workplace are often the fuel that feeds the office rumor mill. This can create a distracting, even toxic work environment, and once respect and credibility are lost, they're hard to regain. Furthermore, your shot at career advancement could take a hit. If your relationship becomes public knowledge, it might affect your chances of moving up the ladder. Superiors could question your ability to separate personal and professional matters, which could hinder your opportunities for promotions and important projects. Last but not least are the legal and human resources implications. Many companies have policies prohibiting relationships between colleagues, especially if one has a supervisory role over the other. Violating these policies can lead to disciplinary action, or even termination. The office is a place to maintain professionalism, and mixing personal relationships can blur the lines. So before you make your move, think twice about the potential career implications of an office love affair. How does an office love affair affect your credibility at work? Well, let's dive into this rather touchy subject. Among the myriad of complications that can arise from office love affairs, one that often goes unnoticed until it's too late is the impact on your credibility. You see, credibility isn't just about whether or not you're competent at your job. It's also about how you're perceived by your colleagues and superiors. Imagine this. You're in a relationship with a colleague and you're tasked with leading a project. Even if you're the most fair-minded person on the planet, there's a chance that others could view your decisions as biased. Suddenly, your professional decisions aren't seen as objective, but instead clouded by personal emotions. This perception can lead to a loss of credibility, and once that's gone, it's not easy to regain. Now let's talk about professionalism. When you're involved in a love affair at the office, maintaining a professional image can become challenging. Whether it's stolen glances during meetings, private jokes, or even just the perception of favoritism, these subtle cues can chip away at the image of professionalism you've worked so hard to build. And let's not forget about the impact on your decision-making abilities. When emotions become entangled with work, it can cloud your judgment, leading to decisions that may not be in the best interest of your team or the company. Others may begin to question your ability to make impartial decisions, further damaging your credibility. Now I'm not saying that office love affairs are a complete no-go. After all, we're only human, but it's crucial to be aware of the potential consequences. If you find yourself catching feelings for a colleague, it might be worth taking a step back and considering the impact on your credibility and professionalism. Maintaining impartiality is key, and office love affairs can challenge this balance. So before you pass that love note across the conference table, remember the potential impact on your credibility. It's not just about the here and now, but your future in the company as well. Ever been the subject of office gossip? Imagine if it was about your personal life. Office love affairs are a hotbed for whispers and rumors. They're the secret sauce that makes the grapevine thrive, the fuel that keeps the rumor mill running. You see, humans are naturally curious creatures. We love a good story and a workplace romance. Well, that's just primetime drama right in our cubicles. But here's where the trouble starts. Such whispers can quickly turn into a roar, drowning the office in a sea of speculation and conjecture. Now let's talk about the ripple effects of these whispers and rumors. First off, they can create a toxic work environment. When your colleagues are more focused on your personal life than their work tasks, productivity takes a hit. 
Meetings turn into gossip sessions and coffee breaks become hotspots for the latest updates on your love life. The work environment transforms into a pressure cooker of rumors and speculation, affecting everyone's focus and productivity. Moreover, these rumors can tarnish your professional image. Your colleagues might start to see you not as the hardworking professional you are, but as the main character in the latest office soap opera. Your credibility takes a hit. Your work, no matter how top-notch, is overshadowed by the whispers echoing in the hallways. But the most damaging part? These whispers don't stay within the office walls. They have a way of slithering out, reaching the ears of those whose opinions carry weight in your career. Trust me, you don't want your boss or superiors to question your professionalism based on office hearsay. In conclusion, office love affairs can spark a wildfire of rumors, turning the workplace into a breeding ground for gossip. This not only harms the work environment but can also deal a serious blow to your professional reputation. The whispers and rumors, they're not just words. They can become the invisible chains holding your career back. So, keep in mind, rumors can spread quickly and can damage your professional image. Consider this. Could your office love affair impact your career advancement? The answer, more often than not, is a resounding yes. Office love affairs can cast a long shadow over your career growth. It's not just about the potential for conflicts of interest or the risk of office gossip. The bigger issue is how these relationships can affect perceptions of your professionalism and your ability to separate personal matters from your work. Imagine you're up for a promotion. You've worked hard, put in the hours, and shown real commitment to your role. But you're also in a romantic relationship with a colleague. This relationship, even if handled discreetly, can raise questions. Will you be able to maintain objectivity when dealing with your partner in a professional setting? Can you separate your personal feelings from your professional responsibilities? These are tough questions, and it's not just your immediate superior who might be asking them. Your peers, other managers, even the CEO might have reservations. Remember, in the world of work, perception often trumps reality. Even if you're confident in your ability to keep your personal life separate from your work, others may not see it the same way. And what if your relationship ends on a sour note? The fallout can be detrimental to your career. You might find yourself in an uncomfortable situation, forced to work with an ex-partner on a project or team. This can lead to a decrease in productivity, heightened tension in the workplace, and can further impact your career advancement. Moreover, if you're in a relationship with someone who's in a senior position, it can lead to perceptions of favoritism or bias. Your achievements might be seen as less credible, and your superiors might doubt your ability to earn your position through merit alone. Perceptions matter, and an office love affair can change how you're viewed professionally. The road to career advancement is already challenging enough. Don't let an office romance add unnecessary roadblocks on your path to success. Navigating workplace relationships can be tricky, especially when feelings are involved. Now we're not saying you should suppress your emotions or ignore genuine connections. After all, we're human beings, not robots. But it's crucial to handle these situations with care and tact, Let's say you find yourself developing feelings for a colleague. Before you start planning your office wedding, it's important to take a step back and consider the potential implications. Yes, I know, not as fun as daydreaming about your future together, but stick with me here. Firstly, it's essential to understand your organization's policies regarding office romances. Do they frown upon it? Is it completely prohibited? Or do they simply require disclosure? Knowing these policies can save you from a world of trouble down the line. If your company allows office romances but requires disclosure, it's important to be upfront and honest. It might feel awkward, but believe me, it's less awkward than being caught in a clandestine relationship. But what if your organization prohibits office romances? Well, you might want to consider the risks. Are you willing to potentially jeopardize your career for this relationship? And let's not forget about the uncomfortable power dynamics if one of you is in a higher position. So, you've considered all these factors and you're still unsure about what to do. It's completely normal. In these situations, it's helpful to seek advice from a trusted mentor or HR representative. They can provide guidance and help you navigate the situation without compromising your professionalism or career progression. In conclusion, navigating workplace relationships requires a delicate balance. It's about understanding the potential risks, being aware of your company's policies, and seeking advice when needed. It's not about avoiding relationships altogether, but rather about managing them in a way that respects both your personal feelings and your professional commitments. Remember, it's essential to exercise caution, maintain professionalism, and seek advice when needed.
Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and send to a friend. Management for life. The business of being you.